Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video to talk a little bit about the new mini iPad. Yeah, you heard me right, mini. I don't have a joke here. <laughs> now we've heard rumors about a smaller iPad for a long time now, and I've pretty much ignored them so far. Uh, it was the same way with the iPhone. There were so many rumors about an iPhone Nano, or an iPhone Micro, or some smaller version of the iPhone. And of course we never saw that, and I doubt we ever will. However, this iPad thing might actually have a little bit to it. While the current iPad is selling very well, there definitely is a lot of room below it. So take for example the Amazon Kindle Fire. That is sold very, very well, and it's only $200. Not to mention the fact that Google is most likely working on a Nexus tablet for $200. Samsung already has a Galaxy Tab at $250. You can definitely see that a lot of the price points have shifted much, much lower. Of course, Steve Jobs once famously said that 7-inch tablets are too small for people with normal sized fingers. And while I can't believe that to an extent, there are a couple of things that have changed. He was originally talking about the first Samsung Galaxy Tab, which was before even a tablet version of Android was out. On top of that, a 7.8 inch tablet is quite a bit larger. So at CES this year, I took a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7, which 7.7 .7 and 7.8 is pretty close, and I actually really liked it. I found that the screen size was a very nice compromise between a small 7 inch tablet and the full size nearly 10 inch tablet of the iPad. By removing the retina display and instead using a 7.8 inch screen with the same resolution of the iPad 1 and 2, Apple would save an absolute fortune. On top of that, it would give them a nice lower option. So of course you have the iPad 3 at $500, you have the iPad 2, which is a decent step down for $400, and then you could have something like this, which would be somewhere around $300, and perhaps have a little bit less features, so more than likely it would only have 8 gigabytes of storage, and you maybe find a couple of corners to cut, but it would definitely get Apple in a much lower price point than they're at right now. According to this report, the new mini iPad will be on sale sometime in the next 3-6 to six months, for a price of anywhere between $250 and $300. Now I'm very curious to know guys, what do you think? And I know you're definitely going to have a lot of really good opinions. So do you think this is a great idea? You think Apple should definitely go for it? You think it's a terrible idea and Apple would never even consider this? Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. And if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. So, probably known as the iPad Mini, or the new, new, small, mini, iPad. <laughs> so, probably known as the new iPad Nanny, Mini, Well, there's no doubt that the iPad 3 is selling millions and 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 millions. A lot of people are going to look at a tablet and go, okay, well, there's the iPad for $500, or you can get the Samsung Galaxy Nexus Tab thing. What? 